Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to pop on really quick and talk about carbs. What type of carbs are best? Can I still eat carbs? I'm gonna briefly talk about carbs and intermittent fasting. Holy cannoli. I feel like I've gotten in almost some arguments with people about carbs. And some of those who are like, you shouldn't eat carbs, carbs are not good, you can't lose weight if you're eating carbs. And I'm like, mm -mm -mm. I beg to differ. <laughs> carbs are really important, carbs are essential for energy, for brain function, and your brain controls everything else in your body. Your brain is a literally like the, the master circuit of everything. So if your brain's not getting the right kind of fuel, it's not gonna tell everything else in your body what to do that well. So it's a little important, a little bit, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Now, when we talk about carbs, a lot of times people will be like, well, I only eat these carbs. I don't eat fruit. Fruit is bad. I shouldn't eat fruit. I, I was told, I read this thing, I, I saw this thing, and fruit never makes you fat. What? Like, who's writing? Okay, who's writing? Who is writing this? Stop. Stop. Right? It, it is not about, like, this one fruit. I even did a talk um, at my old high school, which I, I love going back to my old high school, college, um, even my grad school, and you know, just sharing information, sharing you know, more, more knowledge with people. And I had somebody ask me, one of, the, one of the high school kids was like, so are bananas bad for you? And I was like, what do you mean bad for you? How would a banana be bad for you? And they were like, well, I read this thing or I saw this thing in this ad, it was like the worst foods for you and it was a b banana. And I was like, what, hey, Kelly, know anyone who got fat off apples? <laughs> right? No, cause that's not a thing. I don't understand. Like who is making this up? Sorry, sorry, I get it, I get it, okay. No one gets fat off of an apple. But again, people are confused. They're confused by all the information. Are carbs good, are carbs bad? How do we do this, right? And really, here's, here's some big secrets. It all depends on how you are eating overall. It's not just about the one thing. It's not about the banana or the, or the apple that you're eating, right? It's not about the fruit. Are you eating foods that balance each other out? So, and these are things that I cover in the 12 week program that I have for women. Now, it, I'll put a link below. If you have questions on this, if you're wondering about this, if you have struggled with this yourself, click the link, schedule a call with me. It is a one-on-one -on -one consult where we go over any issues that you have, questions that you have, and I t give you tips to get started right away so that you can step in the right direction for you. So first it's about balance, right? And again, people say balance, like, oh, and just, you know, moderation, blah, blah, blah. No, not necessarily moderation. This is balancing your nutrients. You're going to need proteins, fats, and carbs. Now, when you're looking at this balance, this is just an example. If you're making a meal and you're counting your macros, all that good stuff, if you get something and you're making a meal that gives you 20 grams of protein, this should give you a clue that you need at least 20 grams of protein here. Protein muscle synthesis occurs, threshold is 20 grams. So stop eating snacks that are like 10 grams. Not, not good enough. Like two eggs for breakfast, is that good? Yes, okay, that's some protein. But that's only about 12 grams of protein. You're only halfway there. Gotta get more. That's the big key to boosting your metabolism in the morning, all this other stuff. These are little things that make the biggest difference with your nutrition that you learn in the 12 week program that I have. So, proteins, at least 20 grams. Fats, you know, we'll say three or four grams, somewhere in there. And then carbs, this is where people have so many questions and they're like, well, well, this is, this is it, right? You know, no, carbs are really important. If you don't have any fiber going on here with all this uh, protein, do you know what that's going to do to your gut? It's not pretty. I'll tell you that you need carbohydrate to fully upload and absorb the proteins. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. You cannot absorb max protein. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, this is the best, most bioavailable, blah, blah, blah. If you don't have carbs with it at all, you're not getting that protein uploaded. Physiologically cannot happen. That is like the human body and how it works. So I don't know, I can't make it different. If I could, that would be amazing. So that, that would be cool. But, uh, but that's how you were made. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you need these carbs. Now, the amount is one of those things that people kind of uh, waver on, fluctuate on, or 
want to argue on. You need to at least have 10, but I like to go and match it and maybe even a little bit more. Mm -hmm. There you go. Simple as that. If you're creating a meal, creating a snack, creating something that's gonna fuel your body correctly, this is it. Now, I have charts for athletes. I do talks for teams, sports teams, all these other things. And I have this really simple chart for kids that are school aged or even in college, because I do talks for college athletes too, where they literally say, this is my schedule. So they're all student athletes, but here's my school schedule. Here's my practice schedule. Here's my game schedule, right? Different days. They, I have a chart for them that says, here's what you eat on a game day. Here's what you eat on a practice day. And it literally lists out just servings of food. So athletes can easily eat in this fashion. Super easy. And I have had teams win tournaments, win national tournaments, because all they're doing is fueling their bodies better. Seriously, four day tournament. When it comes down to the end of it, it's basically who can last that long, right? Kelly, I want that. Ooh, yeah, I'll, I'll send it to you, Kelly. Um, it's something that I just, I send out to people because it is amazing. It's an amazing resource. But what I go through with women in the 12 week program is I teach you how to do this for yourself. I teach you how to eat for your body, eat for your hormones, and make sure you're getting all the nutrients your system needs. So you're not afraid of carbs. You're not afraid of, you know, eating too much or shoot, uh, I can't have fruit. Literally, I chatted with a gal the other day. I'm not kidding. She said she hadn't had fruit in over two years. I was like, how? How? And she was talking to me about all her digestive issues and all these other things. I was like, yeah, because you're making your system mad. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Right? So when we talk about these carbs here, what carbs are best? All the carbs. All the carbs, right? Okay. Let me reframe. Like we're talking about whole foods as much as possible, right? Yes, moderation. Yes, wine is a carb. Sure, sure, okay. But really we're talking about um, simple and complex, right? So carbs here, simple, and these are things like fruits. And then you've got complex. And these are, we'll do like rice, quinoa, I'm not going to write it out, rice, quinoa, potatoes, all that jazz, right? Those are going to last longer in your system than the fruits. The fruits are going to last um, not as long, but you can choose of these options of carbs, uh, carbohydrates that are low glycemic, because that's what everybody's worried about with the carbs. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spike my blood sugar. It's going to be terrible. No, no, it's not. All you got to do is make sure you're choosing low glycemic things. Again, these are things we go over in the 12 week and you make sure that you are choosing the best foods for yourself. So not only incorporating warming and cooling, so you're burning fat more during certain times of your cycle, burning carbs more during certain times of your cycle, but then you're choosing even better carbs on top of that. For example, an apple and berries are actually really low on the glycemic index score. Watermelon, super high. Pineapple, super high on glycemic index. So if you're at a party or event, you know, some holiday thing, and there is fruit salad or something. Sure, have some slices of pineapple, but make sure that you're getting more apples and berries in to balance it out and that you're getting it in in this combination. When you're eating carbs in this combination, so if you're like, but I really love the pineapple and I want pineapple, awesome! Eat it with protein and healthy fat. Boom, you're balancing things out. You're not going to throw things out of whack and you do not have to worry about it. I know people sometimes will try and eat carbs only certain times of the day or something like that. Okay. But if, unless you're doing intermittent fasting and in the last video I did, um, I talked about intermittent fasting for women, which is really, really important. You need to make sure that you are doing it properly. Otherwise it will trash your metabolism long term. Um, so check that one out if you missed it. But when we're talking about intermittent fasting and fitting in different nutrients at different times, okay. But overall, pacing things out really is gonna be the best thing for you and your system. Getting everything balanced, getting everything in when you need it, but pairing it with that protein and fat, it's a game changer. It boosts your metabolism and makes it work harder for you. So don't be afraid of carbs. <laughs> I have people um, send me pictures of their supplements all the time. They're like, oh, is this a good one? What about this shake? What about this bar? I just saw this bar. What do you think? 
and I'll look at it and it's super easy to see. Carbs on labels are broken down into either fiber or sugars. And when you're looking at that fiber, I don't necessarily count the same, right? As the sugar on the package. So really when you're looking at the sugar, the biggest thing to look at is then where is the sugar coming from? If it's sugar, sugar, like granulated sugar, like white sugar, glycemic index of is 100. The thing to look at then is where is it sourced from? Is it sourced from a natural product? Like is it a fruit sugar? Is it a beetroot sugar? Those are actually lower on the glycemic index. Then it's fine. You know, and then I say, great. Then look at the rest of the nutrients and see how it balances out. But don't be afraid of carbs. Carbs are essential for energy. They're essential for recovery from workouts. Oh my goodness, I have been going over with some, um, some athletes, some professional athletes actually, um, you know, some that I know from my football team, some that I've met online recently, and just talking, you know, so, uh, social media and talking to them about getting the right nutrients in for proper recovery because women so often follow a male protocol for recovery and they're really missing out on getting enough carb in to fully re-glycogenate their muscle tissue because it's different at different times of the month. <laughs> it can be one of the most frustrating things as a female to follow instructions and feel like you're trying to do everything right only to realize, holy crap, this is not working for my body at all right now. What the heck? So that's why I have the 12 week program that I have. That's why I, you know, that's why I wrote my book, The Female Fat Solution. It's on Amazon. You can pick it up. I talk about nutrients, <clears throat> nutrition for the female cycle. Um, I have a podcast, The Female Health Solution. You know, you can listen to that. I talk about a lot of this information as well as more for women. Um, but again, I'm gonna put that link below this video. If you have questions, if you're wondering about, okay, I've been working out and having a problem with this, or I've been really stuck at this point here, and I've been trying all these things and nothing's worked for me. What's my next step? Or how do I know where I'm at? Oh my gosh, I'm exhausted. I'm so stressed out. I know that's throwing off my hormones. What do I do? schedule a call with me. I'm more than happy to chat with you on steps you can take to move you in the right direction. I mean, my mission is to educate women on giving them more information on how their bodies work naturally and how to match their foods to their hormones so you can move forward easily. That's it. So I got kind of fired up tonight. <laughs> I, got a little, I got a little fired up. <laughs> anyway, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Kelly, I'm going to send you this document. Um, I'll just Facebook it to you. Let me know what you think. And let me know if you guys have any other questions. Otherwise, I will see you later.